A very good day to everyone who is watching our video right now, including our dear Madam Rahaya. So today we are from Group 7 and we intend to present our assignment for SCQM1103 Group A Discrete Mathematics. So these are the team members from Group 7 who is Chong Karmin, Tracy Liao, Tony Tang, and Lo Lui Jie. Our video today will be divided into three sections, that is the algorithms, the source code, and finally the execution of our program. Good morning, madam. I'm Chong Kamin, and now I will present about the algorithm of our program. First, start. Second, ask the user to choose the question in Java Frame main container class. Third, if the user select the button of question 1 and click continue, it will jump to Java Frame question 1 container class and read the number of child and day. If the child less than 0 or the day not equal to 7, it will pop out the invalid message dialog. Else, it will calculate the result 1 using the formula given. If the result 1 more or equal to 2, it will print proven statement. Else, it will print not proven statement. For Else, if the user select the button of question 2 and click continue, it will jump to Java Frame Question 2 container class and read the number of child and month. It will initialize the number of family equal to child plus 2, which is the number of the father and mother. If the child less than 0 or month not equal to 12, it will pop out invalid message dialog. Else, it will calculate result 2 using the formula given. If result 2 more or equal to 2, it will print proven statement. Else, it will print not proven statement. Fifth, else if the user select the button of question 3 and click continue, it will jump to Java Frame Question 3 container class and read the number of child and bedroom. If child or bedroom is less than 0, it will pop out invalid message dialog. Else, it will calculate the result 3 using the formula given. If the result 3 more or equal to 3, it will print proven statement. Else, it will print not proven statement. 6 and Next, I will proceed to present about our source code. As we can see here, this is the main class of our pigeonhole principle programs. This Q1 RB, Q2 RB, and Q3 RB will present the radio button that used by the user to select the design equations. Take note of the if else statements. If question 1 already been selected, then question 2 and question 3 should not be selectable. Thus, the 3 button action perform cost help the user to avoid multiple selection. On the next slide, the J button 3 action perform class used to perform the next action after the user choose the desired question. If user select question 1, then the system will pop out question 1 interface and close the column frame and sort of for question 2 and question 3. Next, I will talk about the source code of question 1. In J button 3 action perform class, we first declare the integer child and day and use get test bracket to get the user input. If the user input negative number of child or incorrect number of days, the system will pop up invalid and start the calculation immediately. If the user input the correct number of child and days, the system will continue the calculation and show proven or not proven based on the result. The result is calculated by the pigeonhole principle formula, uh, which is the number of child minus 1 divided by the number of days and plus 1. Take note that we use math.flow to round off our result. Alright, thank you Tony. Good day madam, I'm Lovoyje and I will start present the source code that built to run the program. For the question 2, we are required to build a source code to prove that at least two family members are born in the same month, which including the father and mother. So from the main frame, after the user choose question 2, he will be direct to another frame that designed for question 2. In this frame, there are totally three buttons which carry out different functions. For example, J button 1 is used for access purpose, 
while J button 2 used to go back to the main frame to select another question. In this frame, two coding for text box is built, namely child TF and mom TF, that allow the user to input the number of children and number of months in a year. And the value inputted will be used for calculation below. The calculation coding is inside the J button tree, which means the button will trigger the calculation process. However, the questions included the number of parents in the family members. So the number of family members will be equal to the number of children that inputted by the user plus two. Next, several if else statement is built to overcome different problem when user inputted different number of child and months. When number of children is less than zero or the number of months is not 12 in a use, an invalid statement will be displayed and the user are required to enter the input again. By using pigeonhole principle, we let the result equals to the number of family members minus by one and then the value will be divided by the number of months in a use plus one. If the result is more than or equals to two, then the question is proven to be correct and vice versa if the result is smaller than two. If the question is proven to be correct, a message will be displayed telling the user it is proven to be true or else it is not proven. The main class in this Java file is to display the frame that carry out the function that I stated just now. For the next question, which is question three, the concept is quite similar with the coding for question 1 and 2. The question requires coding to prove at least 3 children sleeping in at least one of the same room. There are still 3 buttons. For J button 1, it is an exit button. And J button 2 is a button that directs the user back to the main frame. For user, they need to enter the value for number of children and total number of bedrooms in the house. Then, the value is stored in the variables namely child and bedroom. If the values enter for number of child or bedroom is zero, then an invalid message will be displayed. If the result calculated using pigeonhole principle is more than or equals to three, we are proved that there are at least three children sleeping in at least one of the same room, and a message will be displayed saying the question is proved. And the last coding is to build the main class to display the flag. That's all for source code that built for question two and three. So now we'll be moving on to our execution part of the program. The topic of our assignment is pigeonhole principle, and these here are the, are the questions given to us. There are 12 children in the family. The first question is asking us to prove that at least two of children were born on the same day of the week. We'll select question one, continue. Number of children in the family is 12, and number of days in a week is seven, and calculate. So the pigeonhole, which is the number of days in a week, is 7, and the pigeons is the number of children in the family, is 12. So by substituting the m and the n into the formula here, we'll get 2. So by using extended pigeonhole principle, there are 2 pigeons in 1 pigeonhole. Therefore, it's proven that there are at least 2 children were born on the same day of the week. So let's get back to the main menu. And the second question is, Prove that at least two family members, including the mother and the father, are born in the same month. So we'll select question 2. Continue. The number of children in the family is 12. And the number of months per year is also 12. So calculate. The number of pigeonhole, which is the number of months per year, is 12. And the number of pigeons, which is the number of children, plus the, the father and the mother, is equals to 12 plus 2 equals to 14. So substitute the 12 and 14 into the formula, we'll get 2. So by using extended pigeonhole principle, there are two pigeons in the pigeonhole. Therefore, it's proven that at least two family members, including the mother and the father, are born in the same month. So back. And this, and here we come to the last question, which is assuming that there are four children bedroom in the house, show that there are at least three children sleeping in at least one of them. we we'll select question three, come new. There are 12 children in the family and they are also assuming that there's four bedroom and the number of pigeonhole, which is the number of children's bedroom is four and number of pigeons, which is the number of children in the family is 12. So substituting the M and the N into the formula, we'll get three. So by using extended pigeonhole principle, there are three pigeons in one pigeonhole. Therefore, it's proven that at least three of the children sleep in the same room. So we've come to, an, to the end of our program. We can either exit our program using this button, exit button here, or we we'll get back to the menu and exit from here. Or we can just exit using the red arrow here, the red X here. 
So that's all for our video today and I'd like to present my group to say thank you everyone for watching the video to the very end.